ni moja o che go watch watch o toya watch ni moja o ma o ma ni tu che Cristo o ye o ni up your voice and begin to say something unto this great king. He deserves our worship this evening. He is the king of kings and the lord of lords. There is no God that like this God. There is none that can be compared unto him. He is greater than them all. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah, the rose of Sharon, the lily of the valley, the creator of the universe. Bless the name of the Lord. I will exalt the Lord at all times, and his praise will continually be on my lips. I will exalt the Lord at all times, and his praise will continually be on my lips. We bless you, Lord Jesus. We give you glory, most high God. We give you glory, most high God. Take all the glory. Take all the praise. You are a great God. You are a great king. Ancient of days, you change at night. What manner of a man are you? That the wind and the sea they obey. What manner of man are you? That the wind and the sea obey. We bless you, Jesus. Receive our worship this evening. Receive our worship this evening. You are God. You are God. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we said. Oh, angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh
Indeed, you are God all by yourself. Indeed, you reign and rule as king all by yourself. Eternally wise God, we worship you this evening. We say, take all the glory, take all the praise, now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to offer our worship through our thanksgiving offering. And we have been reminded that we are doing two things in this convention. We are worshiping and we are doing what? Oh, I can't hear you. We are doing what? Worshiping and doing what? But we need to balance it. The sacrifice is not balancing to the worship. And tonight, I want you to appreciate the fact that indeed the veil is torn. Hallelujah. If you can confidently take your Thanksgiving offering without hiding, then it's a good Thanksgiving offering. But if you want to take it hiding, then you need to repent. Hallelujah. Let your thanksgiving offering be an acknowledgement that, Lord, I appreciate what you came to do for us. The praise and worship team will take us through this and do this to the glory of God. And I believe it's going to be a great blessing unto you. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Shall we Are you ready to praise him? If you are ready, give God a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Now I had to get here, my head. Oh, my, my, yes, you Now I had to get here, my head. Oh, yes, you Oh, yes, you my, my, yes, you If you put your hand in the club, it's you.
Oh, oh, oh. 
tonight the whole night you'll be dancing all night but I, I also have to give an account of the time that I have been given hallelujah at this point we ask elder Emmanuel could you take to pray over the offering for us if he isn't around then we'll ask elder oh okay Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for how far you have blessed us, O oh Lord. The word says not to come into your house empty-handed. We have offered unto you our sacrifice of worship, O oh Lord. We pray that you will bless this offering, O oh Lord. Whatever we're going to use it for, let it be, O oh God, to the fragrance of your kingdom and to the fragrance of your work. Father, replenish wherever these monies have come from. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, let's appreciate God's servant, Pastor Dr. Kwejo Asante. Oh, let's appreciate God's servant. Hallelujah. God is good. And all the time, we thank the Lord for how far he has brought us. want to go by a few announcements. Uh, tomorrow, Sunday morning, is our climax service. Hallelujah. Resurrection Sunday, so let's all come. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be mega as we climax our Easter convention and celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The service starts at 9 o'clock in the morning, 9 a.m. Please elbow your neighbor and say 9 a.m. Hallelujah. And so for the area prayer team, that means prelude prayer starts at 8.30 in the morning. Uh, so area prayer team, please take a note. 8.30 in the morning is when prayer start, And then exactly 9 a.m. we kick off with the Sunday Resurrection Morning Service. I want to actually encourage everyone to look at page 9. Page 9 is the program for tomorrow's service. 
That way, if you are on program, you know and you are not surprised at all when you get here. So everyone, please look over page 9. The Sunday morning is there. If you are on, please prepare prayerfully to be here tomorrow to fulfill your part so that we can go on with the rest of the service. Amen. Tomorrow is the checkout of the hotel as well. So all of us uh, who are staying at the hotel tomorrow morning is when you check out when you are coming out in the morning. Uh, so please make sure that you bring your suitcase. Uh, the Easter Convention Committee will have uh, a section in the hallway by assemblies where we can all put our suitcases by assemblies. Uh, that way it's easy for us to arrange that and organize that. So everyone, when you are coming down, please come uh, with your luggage and suitcases uh, out of the hotel tomorrow. Uh, breakfast is also from 7 to 8 o'clock in the morning. So as Pastor Niambo announced earlier this morning, uh, the light breakfast that the hotel is providing for us, 7 to 8, it will be in the hallway. Uh, so please come as well and partake of that. Uh, those are our announcements. God richly bless you. Amen. I'll give it up to our own pastor, Steve Tete. God bless you so, so much. We have a package, and I believe that it's going to be an awesome time in the presence of God. Hallelujah. But before I continue, I just want you to look at the person seated by you. Look at the person's face and tell the person the person is looking good, beautiful, and handsome this evening. Look at the dress, the scarf. I can say, what's, what's coffee apostolic? Ah. Hallelujah. We have a musical package tonight. And because of time, um, you are going to be monitored here. Just set your eyes on the monitor to serve as a guide. Maybe you have been given a, a duration of time. We'll be doing some cutting. And so please bear with us. At this point, we want to invite area mass choir to give us administration. Even as they come, give it up to the Lord, give it up to the Lord. Even as they mount the stage to give us administration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. We just want to sing that we are free because of his sacrifice on the cross. Amen.
Hallelujah. Give a mighty shout and a clap offering unto Jesus. Such a powerful ministration. God bless you so, so much. Area Mass Choir. Just to enable the flow, we have some ministrations here and I'll mention all of them. We have our own who has come out with a powerful album. It is right, my left, the corridor, please. You can't afford to leave this convention without getting a copy. It's going to, it's going to be a great blessing unto you. Hallelujah. And to invite on stage is our dear sister, Sunshine Selena. Hallelujah. Followed by... Oh, I thought you were clapping. Hallelujah. Right after her, we have Minister Gifty Nate, and we have Minister Rosie. Hallelujah. And to crown it all, we have our guest artist all the way from Ghana, the long awaited Minister Carl Clotty. Give it up to the Lord. Even our sister Selena takes up the stage. Oh, praise the Lord. Are you here? Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to take this opportunity to thank God for bringing us together once again. And also, I want to thank my daddy. Hallelujah. And AMP for giving me this wonderful opportunity to minister to you all. Hallelujah. Um, the first song is Confirm. Hallelujah. Dance to the glory of God. Because there's so much God has done for us. Amen. Business, oh. 
shared on Calvary. I want you to dance to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Let's go.
Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Bon sam kakrama yesu I know ayade. Amen. I want to take this opportunity to thank the leadership of the church, apostle and all the pastors, especially my district pastor, Pastor Kofi Frempo and my local pastor, Pastor Kennedy for believing in my ministry. God bless you so much. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so whilst I wait, I want to tell you that um, oh, yeah, I have some songs out. If you go outside, um, they are there, grab a copy and send it to a friend. It's for free, but make sure you bless my ministry. It's free, you. But make sure it's all blessing. And just say, you're free, so you're free, sir. You're making sure it's all blessing, sir. That's what I say. More support you. So that one day when we become like one of your favorite celebrity musicians now, I'm sure that so you give glory to God. And you say, sir, this is my church girl, right? Yeah, it's more support you. I'm on all social media platforms. The name is Inspirational Gifty. Amen. He paid the debt he did not owe. I owe the debt I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. Now I can sing a brand new song. Amazing grace. Lord Jesus paid the debt. That I could never pay. He paid a debt he did not owe. I owed a debt I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. Now I can sing a brand new song. Amazing grace. Lord Jesus paid a debt. That I could never. I said, Now I can sing a brand new song. Amazing grace. Hey, Lord Jesus, paid. He paid the debt that I could never. You didn't understand. I said, Now I can sing a brand new song. Oh, 
album it's called faithful God this song was written from a place of prayer and I cherish the song so much please like I said it's on all the guitar platforms please go and stream them at the back grab a CD it's free like I said amen
Give it up for Jesus. The Bible says, I was glad when they said unto me, oh, wow. The Bible said, I was glad when they said unto me, are you glad to be in the house of the Lord tonight? Somebody give God all the praise. 
I'm going to be doing two songs, and I just want to talk about the first song a little bit before I dive in. But before I do that, I want to give honor to whom honor is due. We appreciate you so much for giving us the opportunity to showcase what God has blessed us with. And um, we thank God for this opportunity. Amen. The first song highlights um, the trials and tribulations that we face on our daily basis and whom we should magnify when we are going through these trials and tribulations. The title of this, um, the song is Storm, and here it goes. Nothing you do, 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 go get me. 
I'm protected. I'm protected by the blood of Jesus. Any time I go call upon his name. Any time I go call upon his name. Any time I go call upon his name. Hey, 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 call upon his name. His name, his name, his name is Jesus. His name, his name, his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name, his name, his name is Jesus. We worship you, Jehovah Child. I want to encourage any person that hasn't taken Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior. Just call on his name and you shall be saved. Randidi ba shandidi ba. Call on his name and you shall be saved. Rabba shande kayanda da bo. Call on his name and you shall be saved. Adonai. Call on his name and you shall be saved. Just call on his name and you shall be saved. Anytime I go call upon his name. Call upon his name. Any time I call upon his name. Oh, I want to share this testimony. I want to share this testimony. I want to share this testimony real quick. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. So early this month. The first of month, the first of March, was my father's birthday. And I got into a car accident that almost cost me my life. And I listened to some of these songs that I have released personally. And some of the songs that the ministers here have released. And sometimes it's so, it's so interesting that the encourager sometimes needs encouragement. That you, the person that you're encouraging people to believe in God, you're encouraging people to trust in God. Sometimes you need somebody to tell you, hey, it's going to be okay. God loves you. God protected you. God saved you for a reason. I don't know what you're encountering today. I don't know what you're encountering today. But I'm here to encourage you that God loves you. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter. God loves you. You are his chosen. He died on the cross to set you free. So if you don't believe in Jesus, I urge you to believe in him. Because nothing, no power in this world can save you from the accident that I encountered. But Jesus, the name that is above every other name. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, give it up to the Lord, give it up to the Lord, give it up to the Lord. The Lord is doing amazing things in our midst because he's a great God. Hallelujah. Beloved in the Lord, last but not the least, as I said earlier on, all the way from Ghana, he is our guest artist. By the grace of God we have in our midst, Minister Carl Clotting. Let's give a round of applause to the Lord, even as he mounts the stage. Give it up, give it up. This young man is doing awesomely well. The Lord is using him mightily. Amen. A voice unto the Lord. Come on, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Oh, is that all you can do? It is not unto Carl It is up unto the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Somebody scream! Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We give you all glory. I first of all want to thank the leadership for having me here tonight. I must say that it's been a long time coming. So many times we've tried to be here, but when the time was right, the Lord himself made it so beautiful. Amen. amen. Oh, amen. amen. I want to thank especially the, the superintendent. Apostle elect for all his support for my ministry. My first album that was released in 2009 came to Ghana and launched it for me. Yes, I remember. God is good. You are the reason. 
reason why I lift my hands and why I lift my voice why I sing to you come on somebody father you are the reason I'm alive today I am here to say it's all because of you no 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 more son you are the reason why I lift my hands hey why I lift my voice why I sing to you hey father you are the reason I'm alive today I am here to say all over this place it's all
to be a partaker of the veil that has been torn. Somebody you want to shout? Yeshua Hamashiach It's all about Jesus tonight Lion of Judah Abu the Chamber Come on everybody Yeshua I can hear you Lion of Judah Hey, Abu the Chamber One more time
amazing. He's amazing. You're 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 amazing. Yeah, 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 Don't go. Don't go. You're amazing. Father, you're amazing. You're amazing. Check it out. That's one thing my father taught me as I was growing up. And he says that if you have life, you have everything. You see, without life, the day you lose that life, your certificates become pieces of paper. And if you know how quickly human beings forget. There are certain things that come on you as a human being, and it has nothing to do with what you ate. Doctors be given diagnosis as if they are God. I don't know who I'm speaking to tonight. But this convention gives you the platform and the opportunity to not leave an atmosphere like this the same way you came. See what you've done for me. See how you set me free. You are the Sometimes they explain the cancer and you don't understand. But you are my healer, you are my keeper. My restorer and my life giver. You are, you are. I know there are some people here who can relate to this one. Listen, listen. He picked me from the marrow clay and set my feet on the rocks. You are my promoter, you are my defender, you are. He picked you from the Mary clay and set the feet on the rock to say, he is your promoter and he will be your defender. You are, you are. And
there was a time where it rained. See, when we used to go to school, they used to say that when you are crossing the street, look left, look right, look left again and cross. But I got to tell you something. If it is not God who is on your side, there are certain people, very unfortunate people that were passing through circle. It was raining. And they decided to be careful and take shelter under a filling station. Fire caught them, unfortunately. Let me give you a second example. There's another store in Ghana called Melcom, where some people decided to enter one day to buy things like they usually do in the morning. And in a matter of 15 minutes, the building collapsed on them. And in a country where we don't have the mechanism to pull the people out, after every two hours, they pull one person out. And they say, yeah, you back home, yeah, you back home. I will not go far. Sadly, even here in Baltimore, a ship will be passing and some bridge will fall. You could have been driving on that bridge. But keep your Some Yanum will just pop up from some places. Many adversaries will run up against you. 
And as you leave this convention and go, whatever the Lord has said in your life is going to come to pass. Oh, you don't believe it. Say, Hey, Jesus, I can't know and one Everybody, I tell for the Victory is mine. Oh, 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 Crazy! 
Please don't go. Um, stay. Please don't go. Hallelujah. Now the time is up for us to listen to the word of God. 
Please, we have some missing items here. If any aspect of your dressing is missing, please. Do well to see me right after the service. Amen. If you need any, if you want to invite any of the artists, please come and see me after church. And then I'll book you. Now, to give us the word of God today, is an amazing man of God, poised for action, ready to deliver. Without wasting much time, I want with a clap offering unto God, welcome here on stage, Senior Minister, Pastor Stephen Asifwa. Give it up to the Lord with a standing ovation unto God, a clap offering in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we share a word of prayer? Ancient of days, immortal, invincible, the only wise God, receive glory tonight. We come bowing before you knowing who you are and what you have done. For by your power, O oh Lord, and by your redemptive work on the cross, we who sometimes were very, very far, today we have been made close, near, because of the blood of Jesus. And for that we are very grateful. Thank you for tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. I thank God for this opportunity, and uh, I'm really very grateful that he has found me faithful to minister to such wonderful people like you. Amen. Pastor, so today I'm here to say, "Ewa Eti se ise o nyame so esu su se o fata se enyumire yi o ni u nipa mwa mwa su se ebe che e urade ase. And then secondly, I want to thank the area leadership for this opportunity, and I. Uh, I don't take it granted. Uh, I want to salute the newly, freshly minted <laughs> apostle elect. Yeah. Uh, I just, I just, I just want to um, thank him and his leadership team for this opportunity. The, the, the anointing is fresh. It just came out of the fire, so you know, don't don't, don't mess with it, right? Pastor say or the area I saw him putting four no asset. So one man I couldn't ask or no and chair with a dear sem and name re na after you or the need dear any asset that can see Emma ye penny ya pound or smartphone as we dear a ye monocra ye in if you funu apostle monocra and I'm so pound sem and ya shed this is what we call walabolo, right? It's just it's just hard. Now it is not always that you have an opportunity to really see the manifestation of your message play out in action. Let me just explain to you what just happened here. Now, Pastor Se, enye emre ni na ena unya akwenya se asama onyametia mau se kokano umu se edeti ewe ni mansa asina ma onka yesi sisiya entero. Now, the topic for today that we have been given is a prophecy fulfilled. A prophecy fulfilled. And I'm here to just encourage and to tell you and to confirm to you that the prophecy has been fulfilled in your life and it is ongoing. It is continuing to be expressed and exposed in your life. So don't take it for granted. A pastor said, and then you may yes, my said, and come share. Abim, I said you all can say, and come share a fawa brabo hono. Abim na egusuaran su e de di na e bemu emprem preyara e wa brabo. Now let's turn our scriptures to the book of Amos, chapter nine, verse eleven and twelve. Amos nine, eleven and twelve, and I read: In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. Twelve, that 
they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the heathen which are called by my name, saith the Lord that does this. Adifo e mose huma no etri nai e yimu e duba ako eko peme dumi enu. I say, Edano, na ma Dewit se se a ashi ashi ano e dina ho. Na ma pempa mwon empa pe muno. Na medina na fesu sinino. Na matono se titi e nano. Dumi enu no ase na wafa idom enkaye e di. Na amaya maya wobe bop mi di afra wo mini na. E urade a oye ye enu. Now, the prophet Amos um, grew up in the 8th century BC. That is about 800 G uh, years before Jesus Christ. And um, I just want to give some context and background here. And then the environment that he grew up in or he found himself in dictated this prophecy. Because the environment was turning away. The people were turning away from God. And they were trying to import, dilute the religion that God Himself has given to them. Na asema yeka yeka krano na bako semnese samre ya na enkomseni emos eshe samkomi di ana esniye asi emos enkomse ye beye enfie aha moche ansaya wu Kristo. Na sa emre mudo na yafa omaino akonomumu na samre no omuno mumfamuno yana omaino yanese o sum krong krongwa eurate diamo mu krutino na omashasiya se omu diamo ya memwa etu mu esumni bi efra onyami sum krong krongo emu. They were very insincere in their worship and they were trying to more or less tell God that it was not enough. So they were importing other religions into their fold. They were two-faced and they were distributing what the apostle will call a form of godliness. And because God was not pleased with them, that was why he sent the prophet Amos to deliver this three-part message to them. Number one was that he, God, was going to rebuild the tabernacle of David. Number two, the remnant of Edom will be possessed. And then number three, all Gentiles or the heathen would also be called upon. Amen. Now, I say, some of this and come say, some of want to move and say, Emma, Emma, she said, "On family, on my own, the education, no, I said, and to my dad, no, I now say, first you are a jure guno, on your grade, a best sign is see, the atosu mi eno, aye idom and kaya no, a grade se, abe mo mo fa ediso, na the atosu mi en sign is se, amaya me mo foyi na ranso, on your grade, a best sign atonsa afrom." Now let's fast forward to the New Testament in the book of Acts. There was the not the first, but a very important apostolic council meeting. That was held in Jerusalem. And the context was that they were also, the believers at the time, were also trying to force, dilute upon the Gentiles a form of religion that God has not instructed them. Here was a case that people, Gentiles, have come and received the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and their personal Savior. They were happy. They enjoyed their Christian work. And then, lo and behold, the Jews among them rose up and said that it was not enough for them to believe in Jesus alone. But they need, they must be circumcised after the tradition and the rituals 
of the Jewish customs and religion. So when the matter came to the council, this was what the apostle James, the brother of Jesus, who was a wise counsel among the group, rose up and told the group. He said that at chapter 15, verses 16 or 17, or 16 and 17, after this, I will return. Which means that he was quoting this prophet Amos. What the prophet Amos said about 250 years before, the apostle James was affirming that this is exactly what was happening. That God was calling the Gentiles unto himself. I say, now apostle James, you are a kind and he said, you are a ready a kind of said, and so he told them that this is what the apostle, I mean, this was what the prophet Amos said, that God will do, that God was going to establish the tabernacle of David. He was going to restore it. Number two, God was going to bring the Edomites among us. And number three, God was going to also call the heathen, which were the Gentiles into us. And let me pose a question, a rhetorical question. Why was God so much interested in bringing back or restoring the tabernacle of David? It was because through the prophetic inspiration of the Spirit of God upon David, he was able to look into the future to, uh, to tap into God's plan of how the church should behave and how the church should be like. In other words, David was able to receive the template of the church. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you that what you see happening in the church, how the church is organized, it is a direct representation of what God wants the church to be like. Oh, hallelujah. In other words, what I want to tell you is that you are witnessing prophecy. Oh, hallelujah. Prophecy is being fulfilled and unfolding right in front of your eyes. You are part of that God's prophetic message that is being released. Hallelujah. I therefore don't want you to limit yourself. Don't Regard yourself as someone who is not important when it comes to God's agenda for the church of today. God is very much interested in everything that you do as a member and part of his body. 
Hallelujah. Pastor say an inti on Pesa Uber Pum Abunfia and now and Sususe would ye and Faswopi Nuho and Epi Pinua Uber to me aye. I saw a person who wanna say, Who you only petitre now who here and when you may as suffer mu and it dear rate what pony trim possess obey ye I wanna sorry mu. For you to appreciate what the tabernacle of David is, let us contrast the other tabernacle which the scripture also mentions, which is the tabernacle of Moses. For the sake of time, I will be very brief. In the tabernacle of Moses, it was one man show. The high priest was who was doing all the rituals. He was the performer. And the whole congregation of assembly were observers. There is no access to the rest of the congregation. There is no participation from the rest of the assembly. It was just the show of the high priest. When David decided to build a tabernacle for the Lord on the hilly mountains that is called Mount Zion, this is how he went about it. David, at that time, there was another tabernacle. The tabernacle of Moses was just 10 miles away in Gibeon. But David allowed the Ark of the Covenant to be taken from that temple and transferred, transported to Mount Zion into his tabernacle. When they brought it to Zion, there was no partition, there was no veil which would separate the holy place from the holy of holies. And so you see that in the tabernacle of David, it was just one open space. And when you entered, you came straight to the Ark of the Covenant. There was no partition. There was no separation. Hallelujah. And so in the tabernacle of David, there was easy access to the mercy seat of God. Number two, in the tabernacle of David, there was freedom in that David transformed the form of worship and that transformation is what we are witnessing even as Gentiles up to today. David allowed or he had people that were playing all kinds of instruments. He had a group of people that were playing harp, a group of people that were playing trumpet, a group of people that were playing tambourines, a group of people that were playing, were playing cymbals, a group of singers, and then he had a chief musician, and then when it was time for service, all these musicians and instruments of music were played in the temple place. 
Amen. I said, as I'm not David, I said, David, they are jumped to four by it. A more more boss and Guahudua and Menta, a Casa, a Wusua, a Yakawina, a Saint to Trubento, now a war and Yum Tuni Peninsua, or Danum to Fuano, Nasa, a Sumno Cosuana, a Sumbresua, a more more boss and Guahudua in a running Yum to four, a bad your sorry and a Yum to a year. Whereas in the tabernacle of Moses, there were fear. And there was that uh, environment of quietness and solemnity in the temple of David. There was joy, there was celebration, there was laughter, and there was freedom of worship because the Spirit of God gave them absolute and complete liberty. Because the Bible says that where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. I said, now Moses into my time with the na a hono, ni panu rawa, a slow hot, na a one put to put to a white deed says here. Now, so David is yet there with the na a who sit there or hot, I was supper or hot, far who dear or hot, if it's a pie on the sea, Pia on Yamaho home water, far who dear mapa ever hot. In the tabernacle of David, there was just animal slaughter and rituals but in the, in the, that was in the tabernacle of Moses but in the tabernacle of David it was just worship out of a sincere heart the Bible Jesus said that the time has come and the time is now where those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth now dead Moses to my dad one dear not a honor a young one yourself for the end of the year but now so David is yet there with the end not a honor a your son yet and yeah 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 a free a commemorator and you carry the account if it's a Christ to say a dog no a true now a man no soon yes a more more so on web that you know I'm over so no I want to carry at home in the tabernacle of Moses the congregation only came to observe but in the tabernacle of David the congregation were participants. There was nobody that was there to observe, but everybody, the whole country of Israel and Jerusalem came to worship the Lord out of a pure heart. Hallelujah. I said, now there is Moses and to my dad with here, and what here, Nipa Bakupe and Hedijuma. Now, so David is here, they with here, or my money in Israel, my new Jerusalem, Kroni in Ara, Eba, now, Omu in Ara, Eka, Sumno, Hopi, Hedijuma, now, Omu, Fi, Akuma, Pa, and Yakuma, and Muta, Homu, and they're sorry, you are there. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 4, added another caveat, and that is that. David appointed someone that was called a recorder. And the duty of this person was that he would recall. And then when it was time for worship, he would, remember, he would remind the chief uh, singer, Asaph, of the goodness of God. The wonderful things that God has done for them, the recorder would have recorded it. And when it was time for worship, he would announce, this is what the Lord has done. This is what the Lord has done. That is what the whole the Lord has done. And the whole assembly, upon receiving or being reminded of the wonderful acts of God, they would all burst into worship and glorify the name of the Most High God. Hallelujah. I said that David at the Bako for a year chronicle, a mercy some who may decay a tree, a duciano, and you moon nine. I said David, a ye or treacherophobia, I was yet a more. Now, none you do, my dear, or tennis, or treacher, dear, Radi, I hear, Nasa, a merino sonomo, but sorry, Radia, or no treacher for no edica, a kai, and you to nippeni, Esa, or kaino, dear, a radia, and not dear Radia, or mine, dear Radia, and never raditi, I did see a radima. But you see, our recorder is not standing in front of the tabernacle. Our recorder resides in us. And the Bible says that sometimes we don't know how to pray. But the spirit within us with groanings that cannot be uttered, speak unto God. Bakota Sabraka Bay and he, the, 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 the recorder inside of us communicate the mind of God unto God because he knows the deep things that God has done for us. Hallelujah. Asin a ye tie ye twa twa fo ne ye kai fo no onyina tomaden anashia dem ha na mob otiyemu na emre biara no o kai ka 
In other words, the tabernacle of David was a template of the worship in heaven. Oh, hallelujah. Not Moses, not Moses, David. David and Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. The Bible says that the four and twenty elders, which is a representation of the law of, of the church, day in and day out, this is their worship. You are worthy, O oh Lord, to receive glory and honor, adoration and thanksgiving. For thou hast done wonderful things, and all things you have done, you created them as they are. They continually worship before the presence of God. Hallelujah. Asina, ewo edisem, etre naino, yehunu sedia osorye ekosu, ewo osoro. Na ose, osoro, ayye empenifuon, yehunu nai, ati asifuon, epa naini nera, epeja omone kase, au, eurade, wo ena wo fata, ayye ye eni nara. Efi se, dia waye, wo na waye adye eni nara, na wo fata se, wo ti aseda, ayye ye ni osorye, and so God looked at what was happening in the days of Amos and he said, no, I'm not pleased with what is going on. I am going to bring back the format worship that David established on Mount Zion. Hallelujah. There are a few things, let me quickly highlight them, that were attributed to the tabernacle of David. In the first place, because of the manner and the freedom of worship, there was unity in the country. There was absolute unity. Amen. Pastor say, and you may be a boy, just say, yes, son, and so, and with David is your day, you're the kindness, said, you're not a son, no, at here, what David is your day, one, or my name, not a war, a queen, as a mopum, a son, and in tea, and in kapum, a pa, or my name. In other words, access to the presence of God brings unity among the people. I say, now you're back, I say, say, Nippani, Nara, and no, Yamianim, a queen, and your toma, and in kapum, so a penny pan. Number two, because of the unity, the nation became stronger. And because of the unity and the strength of the nation, they became victorious in all their battles. That is the plan of God for the church. That the church of God will be united. That the church of God will be strong. That the church of God will win battles. Oh, hallelujah. And it all starts when there is freedom of worship. It all starts when we have access to the presence of the Lord. That is why I started by saying that prophecy is being fulfilled right in front of your eyes. Because when I see these young men and these women and uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 oh, Minister Carl Clote, you know, ministering, and the people were shaking their legs and doing all kinds of things. It is re establishment of the tabernacle of David, and that is exactly the plan of God for the church. Hallelujah. The pastor said, I'm Minister Carl Clote, and Tunyum, now I just said, I'm Mepunu, I'm Mami Fui, and I'm Pumu, and I'm Sasha, and I'm Yamma, and I'm Okasa, and I'm Kamsa, and I'm Pum, and I'm Sasha, and I'm Kasa, and I'm David, and I'm Pum, and I'm Sasha, and I'm Pum, and I'm Pum. Now, when God, in His wisdom, looked at this template of worship, and He looked at the mosaic temple type of worship, He said, No. 
I will restore the tabernacle of David. So, during the time of Jesus, the tabernacle of Moses was still around. They still had the Holy of Holies. And we've had two or so days to go over them and to really have an in-depth picture of the tabernacle of Moses as it relates to the time of Jesus. But although it was in existence, that was not what God's agenda is for the church. That is why when Jesus screamed out, Tetelestai, the veil had to be torn so that the temple of David can be reestablished. In other words, at that instant, the tabernacle of Moses was reconfigured to look like the tabernacle of David. There had to be an open access so that the tabernacle of David can be reinstated instantaneously. Hallelujah. Now, Pastor said, Sambre no na a ye Moses in to Madani Tasu a hot a ye wok crum 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 ya honin to ma e tumunu asin nam mom emra yesu et siya muta talastaino a munu muhara na e tase debi di siya demwa e wonu a sumu ye wunu a pama da kano a munu muhara na e fa wudia wo honu na e tase a munu muhara no a sign epa e si an tumano e mu etin yenu. In the English language, it is finished, it's simply it is finished. But in the Greek tetelestai, there are three conditions that are woven into the word tetelestai. Number one is that it is finished. An assignment is finished. Number two is that the standard had been met. Just like when the high priest had to re-examine the goat and the sheep to make sure that it was unblemished to meet the standard for the sacrifice, tetelestai also means that the standard had been met. Number three, Tetelesta also means that the debt has been paid in full. So when Jesus screamed out Tetelesta, he was giving a full report to God that the assignment has been completed, the standard has been met, and the debt has been paid in full. It was upon that background that the veil had to be released and torn into two because now yentikabium a kano ye chia hallelujah na pastor say greek kasefua ye chira se brofumu greek kasefua tetelasta ya ye chira se brofumu say ye wie ana say ye de betwi mu ye wie no I say Greek, because if one and one and one trasia and me and sa, the edikai pronisi it is finished. I trasia ye ye the atosu me and no. I say the standard is met. I trasia dia e ye e hiya dia biara. I trasia ye ye e de em em ma e swe ni no. Ya ye amana swe ni na the atosu me and sa ni se e kanu swa e wohoro ye chie ye or the debt has been paid. I say the emra Christo e chie mu te the last time I will. Let me talk quickly about the benefits of the cross. The benefits of the cross. Turn your Bibles with me to the book of Galatians, chapter 3, 13 and 14. Galatians 3, 13 and 14. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Be made a curse for us, for it is written, Curse is everyone that hangs on the tree. Of all the depths, why did Christ have to die the death of crucifixion? Pastor Bishan 
Because with the Jews, the type of death that they love was stoning. They will stone you right away without cause. So, crucifixion was not a Jewish form of penalty. Crucifixion was originally, um, it was implemented, I mean, manufactured by the Phoenicians, now Lebanese and some part of Syria. And then it was upgraded by the Greeks, and then the Romans took charge of it and they perfected it to the science. I see. But as far as the Jews were concerned, being crucified was a form of curse. Christ shows that part of death because the curse which was on us by virtue of our disobedience cannot be taken away by stoning because the scriptures had clearly said that it is only the one that hangs on the tree that is cursed. So for the curse to be taken away then the mediator must be taken through the process of cursing. So Jesus had no choice than to go through the process of crucifixion. Let Amen. us look at how the Jews looked at crucifixion. Amen. Pastor, see you for the edikai, na omunu asen wea no su huo se, a ye no me, na pae go no su ama ye wunu se, a no me en ka dia osen asen wea no su. En ti se na en tem jina fo bibe pa, na wabe fa, let us look at the book of Luke, chapter 23. 48. And all the people that came to gather at, to the site, beholding the things that were done, smote their breasts and returned. 49. And all the friends of Jesus and the women who followed him to Galilee, they stood afar off. Why? Because they understood the curse that was attached to anybody that was hanging on the tree. So even the friends of Jesus, remember that there was no disciple around except John. Why? Because as Jewish, they knew and they understood that so long, because they didn't have any concept of what God was trying to do. And so, so far as Jesus was being, had been crucified, there was curse attached to it. So the people that came on their way home, they were smiting their chest. Ah, They were beating their chest in agony because of what has happened to that man, Jesus Christ. I said, and Crofu, a quick war, our bow, a shed, dear, a sea, a shed, dear, a sea, and in a wound, yes, you know, what Bobo, what Coco Sanukoy. I said, I'm many for you now. But to us, the Bible says that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Be made a curse so that we might receive the blessings of Abraham. Sometimes you don't understand the type of curses that Jesus, he says that he has redeemed us from the curse of the law. The law itself had some attachment of curses to it by which they were contrary to us. The book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 14. He says that there were ordinances. The word ordinance means law. That were negatively impacting us. That is why Jesus had to clean it with that big eraser. So that that handwriting that was contrary to us will no longer follow us in Amen. the name of Jesus. Now pastor said, 
Ayana no me no one tiasia. I say Emrano Pai Bunu Maya Tiasia say Emran Samran Kasana no me be patahu. Na Samrano and a close four manu polikasia. Na a yen sano tray a pony and I'm repia. Na it's ya yen pony a kind so no say no mean some ne butta samre wa a cassetia no and nunti and na a chasse Christo a pepa in nara every home. When we look at Deuteronomy 28 from 15 to the end, it is a long list of curses of the law. And those curses were the ones that Jesus had to erase from every single one of us. So and you are no longer, that is why Paul writing to the Romans said that there is now therefore no condemnation to them that are in Christ. I am here to assure you that you are in the right legal standing with God and therefore be bold. That is why Jesus said, now that the temple had been made open, now that the veil had been torn into two, come boldly. Come boldly. No fears. No trepidation. Come boldly to the presence of God. I see Bible no my tea as yes, and yet Deuteronomy, a yam was a woman tossing no, a tree and no, a duo, a tree, and you move a dunum econo, Ubehun no men sama, na a bata, a shiran sama, a dikano, I say, and in tea, and a fey, Christo, a pepani in every honor, I say, dear, a person of catcher on his and no me piara ne found, Christo, what pepani in every hot, na a fey, dear, or so woo, Faco could draw a bra, or six of you, or so far I could draw a bra, and Tom I him way any. You see, in the tabernacle of Moses, there was no chair there. There was no furniture. And so the high priest had to go quickly in and out. But our high priest, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the living God, the Alpha and the Omega, the Bible says that when he entered into the Holy of Holies that was not made with hands, he sat down. He sat down. The Bible says that God made us sit in heavenly places with Jesus Christ. And so, you are sitting in a very special place. Where you are sitting, the Bible says that your enemies have been put under your feet. That is who you are. And that is what God has done for you. Oh, hallelujah. I see now Moses and Tuadayimono. So, so, so let, let me recap. The tabernacle of David that the prophet Amos prophesied that God was going to restore and rebuild is the church that we are seeing today. Here is why. Remember that David built that tabernacle on Mount Sion. Right? Remember that. I just said it not too long ago. So the location of the tabernacle of, Moses, of David was on Mount uh, uh, Zion. Listen to what the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12. I'm reading from 22 through 24. But you, when you come to church, you have come to Mount Zion. You have also come to the city of the living God. You have come to the heaven Jerusalem. Remember that Mount Zion was established in the physical Jerusalem. But when you come to church, when you come to the presence of God, the Bible says that you have come to the heavenly Jerusalem, a Jerusalem that is not made with hands. Now, here on. You have come to the innumerable company of angels. When you come to church, you are not alone. That is why you need to comport yourself. That is why you need to come with some liberty. That is why you need to come with expectation. That is why you need to come knowing that, that God is here. He is in his temple anytime that you come. He says, we have come to an innumerable company of angels. Right now, right here, where you are sitting, there are angels all around you. They are taking requests from you. 
What do you want to, me to do for you, Ajua? Kwesi, what are your issues? Tell me. I am here to listen. I am here to relay. I am here to send your uh, request on your behalf. Let us read on. You have 23. You have come to the general assembly and the church of the firstborn, which is the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect. Now, this is the kicker. Verse 24. You have come to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the spring, to the blood of sprinkling that speaks of better things than the blood of Abel. Anytime that you come to church, anytime that you come to church, uh, remember that Jesus had to go into the Holy of Holies with, your, with his own blood. The high priest of Moses, the high priest of Moses had to go into the Holy of Holies with the blood of a goat and sprinkle on the mercy seat. But as for us, anytime that we walk through the church doors, the Bible says that there is a sprinkling of blood. The blood of Jesus himself. And you know what this blood does? The Bible says that it is speaking for us. The blood that is sprinkled every time that we come in his presence. The blood speaks for us. And this is what the blood is saying. The blood is speaking of better things. Better things than the blood of Abel. Whatever you have is not better. Jesus wants you to have more. That is why he wants you to have a, a, a continuous fellowship with him. That is, what, that is why he wants you to have the full access so that the blessings of God can be made appropriated to you in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. And in the next two minutes, I want you to tell God the better things that you want in your life, the better things that you want to happen in your family, the better things that you want to happen in your church, the better things that you want the blood to speak for you. In the next two minutes, just talk to God, talk to Him, oh. talk to Him, talk to Him, talk to Him, talk to Him. Speaking in the name of Jesus, we want to see whatever we want to see manifest by the reason of the blood that is speaking. We want to lift up a prayer right now that Father, we want to see your blessing because of the blood. We want to see our healing because of the blood. Father, we want to see progress. We want to see advancement in the name of Jesus. Come on, lift up your voice in the next two minutes. You have direct access right now to the throne of grace. That Blood is speaking and it is speaking on your behalf right now in the name of Jesus. Now, if you are here and you've not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, the blood cannot speak for you. And for that matter, you don't have any protection. And for that matter, you've not redeemed from the curse of the law. So if you are here and you want to negate all these negative forces then I invite you to step up and step forward so that we can lead you to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior so that you can also have a true relationship with him so that you can also boldly come into his presence anytime like David, come and sit in his presence and talk to him anytime, anyhow. Is anybody here 
that is willing to know the Lord and have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, let me see you by hand if you are such a person. If you want to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior, just lift up your hand wherever you are and we'll pray with you. The sad thing is that you can dance all you want, but the dancing will not take you anywhere if you have not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior. The dancing means something when you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior. Is anybody here? I am not talking about those that know about Jesus. I am talking about those that want to know him. I'm not talking about those that were born in the church. You might have been in the church of all these while. You see, salvation is like birth. Jesus calls it the new birth. It has a specific day that you were born. I know my birthday. And you also know your birthday. In like manner, you must also know your spiritual birthday. The day that you were born into the kingdom of God must be known to you. If you don't know such a date, then it means that you don't know what you're doing. But we have tomorrow. It is my hope and prayer that the Holy Ghost will continue to talk to you. So that if the need comes for you to accept the Lord Jesus Christ, tomorrow is another day. May the Lord bless you. Amen. God bless you so much. Do it better to the glory of God. I want you to stretch your hands upon the man of God and begin to pray over his life. If you have left him, pray for him that the Lord himself will replenish every strength. Whenever he stands, God will speak through him in Jesus' name. Amen. At this moment, I want to invite senior minister Kofi Frimpong. He has some information for us. After he is done, we'll invite Elder Evans Ankara to, give, to pray over the offering. And then also, closing him will continue. So even as I mentioned these things right after you, it goes or it follows in that manner. Closing prayer will be taken by our Pastor Andrews Beidu. And then the benediction also will be taken by Pastor, Senior Minister Pastor Kofi Frimpong. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for the wonderful opportunity he's given us to be at his house one more time. And I appreciate the wonderful message for our senior minister. And after such a wonderful message, my task is made easy. I'm here for one purpose. To procure funding for the United States USA Apostolic Church. As was said by our superintendent, we gathered here at Shiloh to worship God and also sacrifice. And I'm, I'm uh, really discouraged to announce that our giving has been very, very low. I know last year we had issues with our rooms, but this year they've been cleaned, there's been breakfast provided, and so that shouldn't affect our giving. And so the way you show your appreciation is to invest in your church. And so our sacrifice is what we give to God. Our sacrifice is what we invest in the church that you love and the church that I love. And quickly, I want to go over some few things that your investment will go towards when you give. There are four quick items. One is the training and human resource department that has been established to train all our pastors and our lay ministers. Second is church planting and evangelism. 
Third is supporting our new assemblies. And as you all know, we're getting ready to be demarcated and we need funding to support such demarcations. But I am more biased towards the training department, so I want to hide out what the training department does so you know that when you give, this is where your money goes to. And a few years ago, we were charged to train pastors and also lay ministers in the USA area. And I'm happy to report that after two years, we have pastors and lay ministers that are getting ready to graduate from the seminary that we have in the United States. Oh. Oh. I thought you'd be happy to hear such an a joyous, a joyous thing. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so on July 6th in Delaware, we're going to have a graduation ceremony for all our qualified pastors and lay ministers. And they're going to have a certificate in biblical studies. And the certificate will be issued jointly between the Apostolic Church and Lancaster Bible College. And this is the first of its kind Apostolic Church. It's, it's never been done anywhere since the church was established over 85 years ago. And it's, it's made possible in the United States because of your giving. And so I want you to know that when you're give your money, you're supporting yourself. And not only that, this is the first of the kind that we're training our pastor's wives. They've also been through several years of taking classes every night. May God bless you, your pastor's wives. And they're also getting ready to graduate. And not only that, we have different cohorts. We have cohort number two that are Canadian pastors that we are training. And they'll be graduating next year. And then we have cohort number three of European pastors that we are training. And we have individuals from Dubai that are part of the training that we are organizing. And I'm happy to announce that we got a fourth cohort that is getting ready to start in September and we need your money to be able to train these pastors. And in addition to that, this year, Dr. Doris and I, Dr. Doris went to Ghana to train the Apostolic Seminary in Ghana to use our Google Classroom and Quick Schools. Hallelujah. Oh, I thought you clap for that. Hallelujah. Office Afino, yen you are Dr. Doris, Eko Ghana, Koma wanted to yeah, and was said on Betsy Messi, and there was I in Fidia, so Nitta Messia, I am your man. So quickly, I want you to know that the federal government or the state is not going to fund what we're doing. It will take you, it will take me to fund what is happening in the USA. And so when you invest in the funding, you're investing in yourself. And you're ensuring that we'll have future pastors. And you're making sure that pastors will be accountable not only to themselves, but to their districts, to their locals, and to the entire USA. And not, not only that, you are investing in these pastors, not only will they graduate, but they will be inspired to get higher degrees, to be, get MDs, DDVs, and MDF. So someday they'll all be professors. And not only that, we are also helping with church planting and evangelism. And there are new churches that we have that the area is supporting. And I'm glad to announce in my own district we've established the uh, Indianapolis church. And it takes money to support these churches. And so running the U.S. area takes a lot of money. And so your sacrifice and, and my sacrifice is what's going to gonna help in this area. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it is a simple request I'm going to ask. I, don't, I was hoping we'll have a lot of people here, but tomorrow we'll continue with this. 
we're supposed to have between 2,000 to 3,000 people. But today, if I can get only 1,000 people to give $200, just, just no more, just $200. And I know there are individuals that can give more, 300, 400, 500. I don't want to make sure that we leave you out. I want to include you. But I'm looking for a thousand people that will give two hundred dollars. So bet me I'm my Abraham you know so I quite at the whole amount never me any pop in my mommy. We have cash up and then we have Zell that will be projected on the screen. Yeah well I quite yeah baby I'll bet me the I'm my cash up and also we have a credit card back there uh elder elder uh Harry come up here elder Harry Brown. So if you want to charge your credit card we have that. We, we, we have that back there. That's Elder Harry Bra. Yeah, Papa Harry. Yes, Anna from Virginia. We have a credit card set up. And so we want to make it very simple for you. Today I was over at our table and somebody was asking me, oh, where is a, a card machine to get cash? You don't have to do that. We have our cards here. And you can do it right here with uh, Elder Ooh, Harry. And also, we're going to have push pay. But before we get to the push pay, I want to get a thousand people to give two hundred dollars. And so, Pastor Steve, bruh. Yeah, Papa Steve, Pacho, bruh. May we have a thousand people to give two hundred dollars. And so, Pastor Steve, bruh. Yeah, Papa Steve, Pacho, bruh. May we get into our purses. Please go into your purses. The men go into your wallets. Only $200 per person. If you can give more, please do. I don't want to alienate you. Don't so you can support all these things that I talked about. Uh -huh. Only 200 And so please come. Uh -huh. Please uh -huh. come so we can. If you're giving on Zelle, uh, Pastor Steve, give me an update as to how we're doing on the Zelle and also on Cash App. I know some are giving. And so please. Don't let me speak so much. Thank you. We have a long service. Mama, God bless you. See, that's, that's the first one. God bless you. May God bless you. Pastor Steve. Pastor Steve. Oh, Superintendent. God bless you. Elder. God bless you. God bless you. Yes. Yes. Just. Mumra. Only 200 or more. If you can get more, last year some, some were complaining to me that, oh, I could have given more, but superintendent didn't mention, so we didn't. This year, I'm not limiting. 200, it's a minimum of 200 or more. But if you all come up, we, we will be done and we'll be gone. 200 or more. Yes, please come. If you need an envelope, we have uh, Deacon Mensa. Please so give them envelopes. And then we got the Zell. Please, are, are, you, are they projecting the Zell and the cash up? Pastor Steve, are you getting Zell and, and cash up? Okay. Yeah, those that are doing the Zell and cash up, God bless you. But if you have the check, please stand up and come. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you for coming. God bless you all for coming. God bless you. Elder, God bless you. Amen. Mama, God bless you over there. Amen. Mumra, we, we need the money to run our area. I just went over what all this money is going. I don't want to repeat it again. Two hundred. Yes. Two hundred. We're going to have push pay, but before I go on the push pay, I want to make sure I have enough. I was wishing, Pastor Steve, can you help me count if how many people we're getting? So that when we hit a thousand, I'll stop. I only want to get to a thousand, then I'll stop. Yes. And then see, Elder Harry, those of you with credit cards, I see that you're going back there. Please uh, have patience, and uh, uh, he will attend to you. 200. No more. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We'll take the checks. If you have the check, make it to the Apostolic Church USA. Make sure you have enough money for it to clear. We don't want NSF checks. Because it costs us another $50. We want to get money. We don't want to get, get in the hole. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
Two hundred dollars. My job you. easy. We are waiting for you. Yes. Okay. I see you go back there in the credit card. Yami Shramo. Mo amu gure credit cards no. Elder Harry is is. I see a line. Take your time and and uh, he will take care of you. Please two hundred per person. Aha mi no ni papa kubia. And yes, Adia, I'll go to a hundred. A hundred, India. We need hundred. A hundred per person. Dollar or ha. Uh huh. Papa, I could be a dollar or ha. Now, Michelle. God bless you. Now, Michelle. Now, Michelle, so over. God bless you for coming. Okay, a hundred. Mumra. Dollar or ha. Mama, now, Michelle, so over. Amen. A hundred. Oh, we are, we are, we are, we are down to a hundred. Matusu, abba or haba. Yes. Now, Michelle. God bless you. If you don't want to walk, give give the money to uh, a deacon. Yes, that right there. Yes. You just give it to our uh, deacon. Deacon Mensa, deacon Mensa will bring it for you. Okay, I see that Harry is getting open now. There are less people. If those of you that want to use the credit card, Harry is available. Elder, Elder, Elder Harry is available. God bless you. God bless you, Elder. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, God bless you all. But your mumra, Pastor Steve, Pastor Steve, how are we doing on the cash up and the zeal? God bless you, mumra. God bless you. God bless you, Elder. If you don't, if you don't want to come, you just oh, God bless you. Just fatum hana monko. If you raise your, your hand, uh, Deacon Mensa will give you a car, a, a, an envelope, and he'll bring the money for you if you don't want to walk. Okay. Okay. Uh, the hair is, is open now. Oh, oh. Uh, the hair is still waiting for yeah, you. Yeah, well, there, there's a little line there, please. Uh, she, he was open for a moment, but. God bless you, Elder. God bless you, Elder. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, elders. God bless you. Elders. Uh, pastors, have the pastors all come? Oh, Papa, I need to get all the pa pastors. Our superintendent has come. Pastors, please fill out the envelopes and come. God bless you, elder. Amen. Which one? Okay. Okay. Thank you. you the, 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 <laughs> Money is coming, the cash up, please. Keep, keep it coming. So God bless you. No more, but we don't, more, it's more. silent, but it's coming. So God bless you. Those of you that are using more. cash up and zeal, God bless you. More, more oh, I see. Please have patience for Elder Harry. Uh, he will take care of you. The yes. Oh, okay. Harry, he will take care of you. There's a line over there. He will take care of you. Amen. 100, please, 100. Yeah, yeah, 100 says, yeah. The 100. Okay. God bless you, Elder. God bless you. I got a few minutes and then I'm done. Oh, I, got, I, got two, I got a few minutes and I'm done. Oh, God bless you. Uh, Dickness. God bless you. Dickness. You are investing for work to be done for the kingdom of God. In the Apostolic Church USA. This is the church that you love, the church that I love. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, thank you, so. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When it comes to money, you are so quiet on me. Oh, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A hundred. A hundred. I have a few minutes and then I'm done. Have we have to meet our time and I have a few minutes and I'm done. Amen. Elder, God bless you. Amen. Elder, God bless you. Dickness, God bless you. Dickness, God bless you. Okay, there's a couple of people with uh, Elder Harry uh, and it will be available. Oh, my, 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 my full-time pastor, my full pastor, God bless you. God bless you for coming. Dickness, God bless you. Mumre, Mumre, 100. We're not at 100. You're, you're, caught, you're, you're 300. And Pastor Steve is telling me that we're doing good on the Zell. I'm sorry, cash up. Okay, uh, Elder Harry is, is, is open. Elder Harry is open. Those of you that want to use the... Oh, Osako <laughs> Hobi. God bless you. God bless you. Those that are going to see Elder Harry, God bless you. A hundred. Uh, I go down to a fifty. Now it's fifty, and then I'm done. Fifty. Fifty dollars. 
You can charge it, Elder Harry, or right here, fifty dollars, and then we're done. Dollar do you know? Obet me the aqua cash up zil. Cash up and zil. Yes. Okay. Elder, Elder Harry is open. Elder Harry is open. If you want to use a credit card, he's open. Papa Harry, fifty fifty dollars. Dollar do you know? Fifty. Oh, my time is gone. Please. Dollar do you know? Matiti so. God bless you, singers. So, uh, when it comes to giving, then you get up and you leave. Get up sure and this is, you come here for worship and sacrifice. Yes, and for and this sorry. is what happened to Hannah. When Hannah worshiped and sacrificed, when it comes to dancing, there, you dance, dance, and when it comes to sacrifice, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, God bless you, Dickness. God bless you, Dickness. Oh, little one, God bless you. We are 50. We are 50. Brother Steve, can you give me an update? My, my time is gone. 50. Oh, God bless you, Dickness. Oh, God bless you, Edwina. God bless you so much. God bless you, Dickness. 50, and then we're, we're, we're almost done. We're good? Okay, we're doing good on the cash app. Please, even after we're done, the cash, oh, Pastor, God bless you. Papa, it's one of my good students. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Pastor. Amen. <laughs> God bless you. Amen. 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 Okay, we, I'm almost finishing up. I'm almost finishing up. Oh, God bless you. God bless you, uh, Dickness. Ah, Oba. Elder Harry is, is, is open now. Elder Harry, those of you that want to see Elder Harry. All the way in the back. Yes. The oh, God bless you. Uh, God bless you. Oh. God bless you, Dickness. God bless you, our singers. Brother Steve, how are you doing? You're doing good on the cash app. God bless those that I give you on cash app. God bless you all so much. And oh, I know we're on YouTube. Those of you that are home, go on the cash app and Zell. And Pastor Steve is telling me you're doing very. God bless you all so much. So now may we all may we all stand. May we all stand. And so, whatever you have, whatever you have, please get this goes towards the USA area. All of it. Oh, may we stand? May we stand, please? May we stand? May stand? May we stand? May God bless you all. May God bless you as you come. And then lastly, before we sing, uh, before we sing, we have push pay. Can you project the push pay uh, Code. We have push pay. Yeah, we'll push pay. Uh, yeah, buy food. Uh, the can they can they project it? Okay. This is push pay. Scan it. If you scan it, you can go on there and you can give to the apostolic church. And it's something that you can give every month. You can set it up. And every month, the money will come out of your account to come to the apostolic church. Amen. And you can scan it from wherever you are. You can just scan it. It's push and you can have it recurring every month and it will come to us. And it's, it's, it's push pay. So please scan it on your phone. Scan it on your phone and you can go just follow the instructions. It's very simple. If you have any questions, please see me or the, or the Jonathan. Or the Jonathan, where are you at? Or the Jonathan. Oh, Please, uh, Jonathan is the architect of push pay, and it is a very easy form of giving, and we want to make it, yes, yes, see you all scanning, that's good. You can scan it and just follow the instructions. And yeah, uh, Jonathan is right here. Elder Jonathan. Uh, Jonathan, brah, brah, be Jonathan. Yes, and so uh, uh, if you have any questions, please see him, and then he will... He will go through that with you. It's very, very simple. I see that you're scanning. You just take a picture and follow the instructions. And you put your information in there. And every month, whatever you want to give, every month, it will automatically, you don't have it. 
You don't have to do anything. If you give $25, every month it will come out and come into our account. $50, it will come out and come into our account. $100. And we want you to be a partner with us so that every month you give to the Apostolic Church. May God bless you. Amen. But from my inner and sorry, while we bring our offering, amen. Ye down was see your me and copon, ye down was see your da, ye down was see your way, ye be a man, ye down was see your da. What ye away, ye down was see your da. What ye away, ye down was see your da. What ye away, ye down was see your da. What ye away, ye down was see your da. Ye down was see your me and copon, ye down was see your da. Ye down was see your way, ye be a man, ye down was see your da. Thank you in the name of Jesus for this offering. We pray that, Lord, you shall bless it, O Lord. Even as we have come to Shiloh, O Lord, let that prophecy also come to pass in our lives, O Lord. That every barren land will become fruitful. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. We'll be taking our closing hymn. As I said earlier on, closing prayer will be taken by Pastor Andrew Beidu and a benediction by Senior Minister Pastor even as the praise and worship team comes, we have a book by, I mean, entitled, What I Wish I Know Before My 20th 
third day by our own pastor, Nana B. Please get a copy. It's going to be a blessing unto you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May we all rise as we take our closing hymn, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. pray as we keep standing. We give all the glory, Lord. We give all the honor. We exalt your majesty and we lift your name up on high. For all that you have done in the midst of your people. We thank you, the Lord, you have torn the veil for us. That you have given us access to the throne of grace. Lord, we honor you. We thank you for the ministration tonight, oh God. That prophecy has been fulfilled in the life of your children. Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we honor your name. Even as we depart from this premises, Lord, we commit each and every one here unto your care. That your divine hand will be upon your children. That, Lord, you will protect and guide us and take us to our various homes. Lord, sleep and sleep with us, so go as you go to bed. And wake up us in the morning. And we wake up in the morning. We'll not forget your honor. And we shall give unto you. We thank you, Abba Father. And we honor you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
yourself into the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, you save both yourself. Amen. Receive the benediction. Unto him who is able to keep you from falling. Unto him who's called you into his marvelous light. Unto him who is the God of God and the Lord of Lord. May this God that we love, worship, and adore bless you. May he be gracious and merciful unto you. May he give you uncommon favor. May he give you the favor that he gave to Esther, that you be picked among many. May he give you the favor that he gave to Isaac, that when you sow, you reap a hundredfold. May he give you the favor that he gave to Joseph, that you will be picked and uplifted. And above all, may he give you the peace, the peace that he gave to his disciples on the way to Bethany before he ascended. He said, my peace do I live unto you. Receive this peace. Receive this peace. Receive this peace. In the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. And everyone said, Oh, and everyone said, Uyeminya. Munkwasin Jima.